Hey everybody, Chris Hawley, licensed sports nutritionist, uh, metabolic efficiency training specialist, fitness professional level one, and I'm here to talk to you about <clears throat> how to pick foods that are going to help promote weight loss, uh, not just long, uh, short term, but long term. And <clears throat> you know, it was it was a big struggle for me when I was losing weight um, to pick the right foods because there's so much misinformation out there. Uh, one website says this, one website says that. I'm walking through the grocery store and I'm looking at different packages of, of uh, you know, less fat, less sugar, and I was almost paralyzed by too much information. So it turned into getting back to my instinct of what I thought tasted good. And ultimately, that's kind of how we're driven as human beings. So we have to use our brains to stay, to stay against that. Otherwise, I'd be out there choosing chocolate all the time because I love chocolate. Um, anybody that knows me knows that I will eat an entire bag of chocolate or 10 bars of IKEA chocolate bars that have been strategically hidden around the house. So <clears throat> it, it, it does take a lot of willpower to not fall victim to those foods. So. Part of that is getting through all that misinformation or paralysis of information to choose the right foods that are going to help you reach your goals. And in your case, it's fat loss. So <clears throat> how do we do that? Is First, we need to work on how we're going to create our meals. There's three things that we should be putting on our plate with almost every single meal. And that's fiber, fat, and protein. Uh, <clears throat> They, they all need to be nutrient dense as well. So we get a lot of fiber from uh, different seeds like chia seeds as well as from vegetables. The greener vegetables the better. And I say that because vegetables are very nutrient dense um, as well as most vegetables that uh, are low on the glycemic index really help promote fat burning. So we want to be sure that we're going to choose those types. Protein we can get from a large number of sources. Eggs, cottage cheese, you know, anything from an animal, uh, <clears throat> veal, beef, chicken, turkey, uh, pork, veal, it all counts. Uh, if you live up in the north, venison. I, I love that venison, but we can't really get that here in San Diego. So, <clears throat> and then when it comes to fat, we stick to healthy fats such as olive oil, coconut oil, butter, um, stay away from canola oil or any vegetable oil. Um, more on that as as we work down uh, in, in our different programs. But those are, are the foods that you want to stay away from. And the easiest part is that by using those three, you keep it easy. You keep it simple. You don't want to overcomplicate it because after all, we're just trying to lose weight. And the more that we complicate it, the more it, of a struggle it's going to be for us. So we need to scale everything back so that we can build a nice foundation of building those meals. And once we get those foundations done, and it becomes ha uh, habitual to uh, put on the right serving sizes, then we can start to change it up a little bit. Different spices, different seasonings, different fat sources. But for right now, keep it simple. <clears throat> so now that we know what we're going to get, we have to go get it. So <clears throat> I tend to, I try to stay away from Costco because it sucks up about $200 every trip. But you know, going back to keep it simple, you can go to any grocery store. In San Diego, Ralph's is the closest. So when you walk into the grocery store, Everything that's in the center there, you want to stay away from. They are, uh, you know, they're on shelves for a reason because um, they're processed. They're very nutrient empty, so there's very little nutrients in them. And the nutrients that are in them have been manufactured. So if you see a box that says whole grain, but it's a cracker, there are zero whole grains in there. So. <clears throat> What they've done is they've taken a grain that uh, otherwise could have some nutritional value. They've mashed it, they've broken it down, they've pulled apart every bit of that grain and they've put it back together and they've enriched it with other vitamins somehow. <clears throat> so when you see a box that says whole grain, it might have the ingredients of a whole grain, but that whole grain is long gone. So stay away from 
anything in the middle of the store. So that leaves on the outside. And like many people losing weight, I've heard it, I know it. I, I knew after my fourth yo-yo that I need to stick to the outside of the store. But I didn't know what to get. <clears throat> or I didn't want I didn't know how to go home and cook it. And the easiest thing is that it was easier than I thought. Because <clears throat> all I had to do was go get some vegetables. Uh, either I could throw them in the steamer really quick, a saute pan really quick with butter, and there really was nothing to them. So, <coughs> pardon me there. As we go through, and I go through that meal strategy that I just talked about, I'm going to walk through the outside of the store, and I'm going to grab some broccoli. I love broccoli. And <coughs> I'm going to grab some cauliflower, because those are two great low glycemic foods that are going to help me burn fat. And I'm going to go grab some some steak. I happen to like uh, London broil because you can get it in a larger amount. And I'm only going to eat four to six ounces of that whole thing anyway. So I can cook it all at once. Uh, probably want to cook it to about a medium, medium rare because those other days uh, you're probably going to throw it in the microwave and that microwave is going to cook it a little bit. So cook it however way you want, but you got to keep that in mind. So now that I've got my, my vegetables, my steak, oh, my dinner's looking amazing. Now i got to go grab that fat source. <clears throat> and I'm going to grab some olive oil and some butter. Because uh, olive oil is a great uh, oil to cook with. Uh, <clears throat> and if you're going to use, you have to use real butter. Uh, they're great sources of saturated fat, which our body needs. <clears throat> so... You know, got home, and that's that's kind of really all there is to it, picking out uh, healthy meals from the store. You don't have to get fancy. In fact, you're just starting out. Stay away from the fancy stuff. Keep it simple. Vegetables, uh, fat source, and protein. Um, <coughs> so, now that we've got all that stuff, you, you've made your meals for the week, you, you grabbed all whole foods, very minimalized stuff and through, through through each day probably by day two you're going to start to feel different you, you've started to choose these whole foods that are easy to make your body's going to feel uh, different <clears throat> and as you start to feel better you're going to want to eat better so um, it, it's it's very easy just to keep that simple uh, equation going so now what the one thing that I didn't cover is snacks. Snacks, we really do not need to eat snacks. If you think you need a snack, it's mental. Um, but if you if you want a snack, go with a healthy source of, of fat and protein like peanuts, almonds. Those are some great sources. If you're following a more ketogenic diet, macadamia nuts. Macadamia nuts have uh, <clears throat> over 23 grams of saturated fat per think it's a quarter of a cup. I know it's about a handful of mine. So the the thing you want to avoid is E for convenience. And we'll get to all that at a later time. Uh, should you decide to work with me, which brings me to the next point is one of the things that you're going to get by working with me directly is a lot more personal guidance. You're going to get direct access to me to help you navigate that murky water of too much information that's misinformation. So I'm going to take away that paralysis uh, that you might have as you're, you're getting that, that starry-eyed and deer-in-the-headlights uh, look on your face as you're trying to go, go home in the shop. Now granted, my palate's going to be a little bit different than yours, but what you get is if you're out shopping, or you're going to go shopping and you send me a message, hey Chris, I need, I need some ideas, I, or what do you, have you heard about this, have you heard about that, um, that's all that you're going to have access to me pretty much all the time. So uh, what my offer is to you is to fill out my free strategy session on my website, 
www.evolutionmultisport.com or if you're like me and most of the world, Facebook's your primary uh, mode of communication. We, we spend a lot of time on it. You do a quick search for Chris Holly, and you're going to see me at least four times in the top five, whether it be my personal Facebook page, which hopefully we're friends. If not, shoot me a friend request. Uh, you'll also see my uh, SD Fit No Excuses athlete page. You'll see my health coach page. And you'll see my Evolution Multisport Sports Nutrition page. They all have buttons that say learn more, and that's going to take you to my free strategy session page. And fill that out. It's going to tell me about you. And together, we'll get a, a time to go over what you put on the phone and find out how I can help you reach your goals to weight loss. Have a great day.